Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be explaining you what is the detailed testing process, especially for manual testing in this video. The first thing we normally do in any manual testing process is we will be gathering the requirement. We will be collecting the requirement. We will try to understand the requirement. We will try to get as much as information related to the requirements or user stories or whatever right that is the first thing we do as a manual tester that is the first step in any manual testing and the second one is we should also identify the testing resources once we have a requirements gathering is done then we would be requiring the number of testing professionals or hardware, software which are very much required to test the application or a software plus we should also identify what kind of infrastructure, what kind of environment is very much required to perform the manual testing that is also is very much required to identify overall manual testing process this is the second step in that process then the next step would be test scenario creation we should create the test scenario creations so that that can get reviewed from the bas or business analyst or product owner or from the development team so that once they sign up these test scenarios then we can detail out in writing that test cases where the overall process involves uh, pre-reviews reviews with the development team product owners business analysts then once we get the sign up for all these test deliverables we will proceed for the with the test execution because test environment is already ready with us well, then we will be executing these test cases across different environment based on the requirement. Once the executions are done, wherever if we find any issues or problems, then we will be reporting those issues as part of defect reporting. These are the four steps in the manual testing process. And the fifth step is once a defect is identified the defect is fixed from the development team then the defect will be required to be retested by the testing team especially manual testing team once that is done then we will be closing that defect if the defect is really fixed by the development team then uh, we should also follow the process of capturing the lesson learned as part of the overall uh, uh, processes while executing the manual testing then whatever the feedbacks we have got from the team and what are the recommendation we can recommend for the next release even those aspects will be coming as part of this manual testing process and uh, once this is done then we can go and uh, ship the product to the client that is as part of the overall uh, product release once the product is been released to the client then the next step would be where we would be requiring to be maintain these test cases which we are written and also the complete repository maintenance also be required to be maintained in the coming upcycle releases and so on these are the some of the detailed uh, manual testing processes that is involved while performing the manual testing.